Welcome back to the Maximum Blackness Podcast, where we are here to max you to the black for your weekend. I am your host, Annie Herb, and I am here with my two co-hosts, OG Smoke and Testa. What's up, guys? Yeah, yeah. What up? What up? What up? What up? What's poppin'? What's dropping? Yeah, hey, we back in the mix. You heard me? We back in the mix on the slide, on the game. You know what I'm saying? On that MB, you know that Maximum Black guy. You don't know what it is. You don't know what it is. It's lit. Yeah. <laughs> it's lit. It's lit. Testa, what you got to say? Yo, I can just say I'm happy to be back. That, thank you. Another week. We blessed. Yes, because we are here. We are back whether we are, whether you wanted us to or not, we are here. And today we are going to open the floor to some more awesome topics. And um, since it's Black History Month and we like to talk about mental health on our show, I do want to bring to the table something that uh, popped up back in the day during slavery called Drapertomania. And we're going to also talk about relationships and the submission hierarchy in your relationship and when you get married. And Tesla has a news topic. And then I really want to touch on celebrity beef and how it affects the black community. So tell Man. me, guys, what do you guys think about this drapetomania that this guy, Samuel A. Cartwright, he was a white man. And supposedly he had this hypo- he had hypothesized that this was a mental illness that slaves who would run away from their from their slave owners had because they wanted to be free and i want y'all to make sure y'all understand this he felt that you had a mental illness if you escaped from your slave owner and wanted to be free and i feel like that's some fucked up shit stop the cap this these motherfuckers boy would tell you any goddamn back in the day just to keep their slaves and just to retain some shit and in the law Back in, back in them days, you didn't have much of a contest. So when motherfuckers came up with this shit... This happened oh. in 1851. Mm-hmm. Samuel mm-hmm. A. Cartwright came mm-hmm. up with this mm-hmm. hypothesis, guys. So... You heard, OG. <laughs> they do, they tell us anything. So this could just this could just be more lies. But I feel like it happened because back then, they were looking for any reason to kill us, kill us off, even, you know, kill us off. If they, were, if they didn't have no use for us, they were just looking for any other reason to kill us off. And a, and a slave that ran away too much, if they kept catching you eventually, you most likely got killed or sold. But I feel like they regular, I feel like they selling you was like literally the 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 last result. They would rather kill you before they sell you. Oh, who be I think of when I hear this? <laughs> what? Lies, lies. Why do you think lies. a lie? Because think about it. Dude was trying to run away in the movie. And what they he did, was. they killed him. And sadly, Mental part of that movie was about mental illness. Like part of that movie was about being locked up and caged up and how it felt. It, it, they might not express that it was a mental illness, but it reminds me of the movie Life. Life, life. I think about oh, I think about that Dave Chappelle episode. Your name is Toby. <laughs> because I think about them times for real. Life, life is like it, life wasn't like life was. Yeah, yeah. I can think about it. I can, I can, I can see how you think about that too. But life to me, <laughs> it was like more of a recent kind of times. But it was still back in the day. But not no eighteen fifty something, right? Mm-hmm. So you know, and and and, and, and I want to remind people that's listening. Back then, in those times when you ran away from prison, you did not come back. You came back in the body back. They killed you anyway. You know what I'm saying? Even back in those times, if you didn't have no good support system, you didn't have any family members checking on you, and you was the outbreak, and you Lost crossed that. No, no, no. It's a line. This used to be a line in every prison where they say you cross that line, you crossing the gun line. Mm. Or the line, I'm boss. Yeah. Mm. That's you know, for real, for real. See, I don't know. Did that. I'm listening. I was just going to say, only reason why that don't make me think of life, because I, I, <laughs> he just had, a, he had, he just, he had a he felt he had a reason as to why he couldn't go back and face his mother. So I just feel like that was a whole different thing to me. But anyway, what was he going to say? But <laughs> what he was saying was so. I only did the word um back then because Samuel A. Cartwright really is in the history books. Um, unfortunately, he's not taught you know taught everyone because he really don't make no sense. How you gonna diagnose? This don't make but, no sense. Right, but also it was another word back then called um. Natophilia, let me see. It's called, let me get the right word for you real quick. The fact and, that and what, they think that you got a mental illness because you're unhappy with slavery, that is just... 
That's yeah. shows how sick that white is people sick. are. Completely Did sick. Did you get your word though? Yeah, it's Nick Nike. It's either Nick the file or Nike the file. N Y C T O P H I L E. And it's the condition of being very unhappy and comfortable in the dark. Remind yourself they had to be in the dark back then. Mm-hmm. Like the Negroes had back then. Um, but you, they made up these words for what? To make themselves feel better? To make them feel smart. Mm hmm. No, know what that makes me think about the most, too? What? It made me think about Amistad. And make I used to up. hate that. I used to hate that movie because that movie used to make me cry sometimes. Mm. Like when I was little. I used to really hate that fucking movie. We need to revisit that. Yeah, Amistad is very deep. But I just wanted to bring to the table how sick white people were back then. And I, you know, we ain't gonna, too, we ain't gonna go too hard on the white people that, in today's society. But back then, that's some sick shit. They felt like slaves were happy if they didn't try to run away. And that's just beyond me. And that's crazy that you guys think putting somebody into this mental and physical prison and make them work for you for the rest of their life. That's sick in itself. Yeah. Hey, you got famous. All it takes is one person to say one thing and boom, everything can blow up. But it's still no secret we had slavery in our communities and our society. Yes, back we in did. Egypt, back in ancient Africa. But I, I, it was the the uh, the way we did and treated slaves was differently from uh, from the Spanish Inquisition and everything that's been recorded in history that we know of right now to like Moors, Hebrew Israelites, and everybody that, that you know that claims with itself with the black community. Um, it was just a lot of different things was different, changed. I mean, you could be back then you could be a slave just because you were in debt with somebody. You were in debt mm-hmm. with an aristocrat, a rich a rich person, or it was just certain favors you had to perform or be there to it was never no type of cage animal type of thing that what that was created to literally to be an experiment to see how far a person could take and break and to break people down and they and, took it, and way, and too it, took it way too far they took, if that was supposed to be an experiment that was taken way too far way too far but moving on relationships and when you get married and you're you know women were supposed to be submissive What's the hierarchy, OG? Well, everybody knows this, and most people don't know, and I don't want to step on anybody's toes, is God, man, woman, and child. Um, I believe also... God. Yeah, most high, the most high. Uh, whatever name that you're man. comfortable with, anybody Uh-oh. listening that, 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 you know, whatever name that you feel that is comfortable that you, you know, you see with your source or creator, and it is what it is, you know, I'm not taking away anything from anybody. But you know, when when you it's a hierarchy because the most high is speaking to the man and through his movements and through his spirit already. Not saying that he's not communicating with the woman, but he's more in tune with the man and bringing it down as far as the head of the household, then following out throughout the head throughout the household. You know, you have to have guidance, structure, and and, and leadership also at times, which is it shows you how much the most high has created a structure that most people forget. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. At the same time, it's 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 just it's just so well rounded that two people uh, can find that type of structure, that that type of perfect balance between masculine and, fem- and femininity. Because when you marry your husband, when you find that perfect guy, you know you 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 you're, you're looking at the spirit of of the Most High, the manifestation in that guy. If you're truly into him, you're not just into him because his looks. You're into him because his essence, what he smells, how he does, how he moves. How he how he creates his thought patterns, how he creates escape plans for people. And I'll give women, I'll give women that's listening right now, perfect example. Right? If a man comes in and he tells you that's your boyfriend, he's been with you or you married, he comes in the house, tell you, baby, look, there's some shit jumping off outside. I need you to go ahead, go to upstairs, go to the closet, pass me my guns, pass me my rifle. Most women nowadays, they will argue <laughs> with the fact that, hey, what, 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 what what's going on? Sometimes we don't have time to explain. I need you to get down and follow suit. You trust me, you love me. Why got to be an argument every time we want to know something? No, but sometimes it is. Sometimes I might not have the the, the two minutes to let you know what's going on. That two minutes could be the the two minutes difference between life or death. Or my family or somebody, significant family being hurt or harmed. In a detrimental situation, you're supposed to act and ask later. Maybe that's what I just got from that, but... Yeah. Every time we want to know something, it ain't an argument. 
You know, it's and not, but it's in to, your, it's in your nature to question first. You want, but it's in our it nature is. now to question no first. But in well, the olden days, a man yeah. was more of a man than they ever is now. So therefore, it was more easier for us not to question back then. It was more easier for us to say, okay, we're gonna follow suit, submit, and everything else. But now. Yeah, right, I'm questioning. If I can't trust you, well, go do it. Man is not what man is right now because man mm-hmm. has been uh, manipulated, mutated, and everything else is being attacked right now. The so so man is not being attacked as much as the man right now in common society. The man is being diminished on purpose. Mm. Nothing has changed with the man. It's just the effects, the dynamic of the availability to women changes the outlook of men. And that's the problem sometimes because you might get a strong guy. And I think we talked about this uh, maybe a few weeks ago on the, on the cast. You might get a strong guy and he might just be struggling. He might be a good, decent dude. Most women won't stand by that guy and take him as he is and, 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 and keep him up on his feet and him for him to be able to get to return the favor to support the house, to support this, support things. Most women want want access now. Mm-hmm. They want things now. And that's nothing wrong with that, but you have to understand what it takes. It takes planning. It takes screening. A man, when he sees things, he's thinking, he's scanning, he's analyzing. He's thinking now, two years, five years. He's, he's, we play chess, not checkers. Women play checkers. Oh my gosh, y'all kill me. I'm, I'm just being real. real. I'm, I'm being real. Y'all kill me with so, that. Just to, because we... Play it they, they kill that debate. I'm not chess saying all women do it, but I'm saying nine times we have to majority. operate differently. Just how y'all feel like y'all have to operate as men, we have we to operate, operate as women. And our y'all game of chess it. is just a bit more complicated and a bit more no. strategic than y'all's is. Well, y'all not in the picture. We still win. We still gonna checkmate. It is. Y'all ain't in the picture with y'all. Why you the think the queen is the most powerful it. on the board? He's the most powerful on the board, but if the queen get caught, the game ain't over. Remember that. The king is yep. the head. It's always going to be the head. But she's still the most powerful on the board. So oh, the queen, the queen is per- the queen is powerful because the queen, is, the queen is naturally the help me. That's why the queen is able to move every space that the king can't move. It's a help me. You you are you are there. Yes. You are there to cover all the bases for me when I can't cover everything. That's. They they help you That's why our game is played differently. No. Because we can tie our wings in a hundred different ways. Y'all get confined to the board. Y'all, yeah, confined y'all just got this. That's why that. That's exactly what it is. Because that's why the king can only move in that box. Because y'all always have that. Whatever it is, y'all gonna go with. That's that straight line, and that's what it is, and that's what y'all rock with. Y'all can't but y'all mad at us because we saying maybe we can do it this other ten different ways. Like we undermining y'all or something. No, and that's no, not no, what it no. is. I, I, use the, I use the chess to refer as not the movements, just the thought patterns of women now. Um, that's what I was referring you, to. Women are just playing um, chess. But, I'll take that. No, no, I said checkers. I said women I mean, are playing like checkers. Men are playing that. chess. Because women do not think the long game. If you did, most women would have would have not be. But most most women would have preserved that preserved their area for the husband material, the man material, the man in the flesh, the man that you believe in the spirit. Like this is the one. I feel it in my bones. He but a lot of people ain't even going off now, of that. I know it. See, that's that's what I'm trying to get you to understand. The game has been tainted, and for the game being tainted, that's why it's affecting the way women look at men, and the way men have to right now deviate from the original plan of how we used to approach women. A lot of women play chess, but those are the ones y'all need to need to try to stay from the rest of us, because I don't feel like I think playing chess. It's one thing these days, women, you got to right. Women going to go in for the money, the look, the car. Yep, and, and for what they can get right now because of what we that's are being told and taught at this point in the game. That's society. That's a generalized of society. Whatever, whoever they is, so be it. Keep them out of this conversation. But in the conversation, the ones who actually sit down and try to make a uh, go on dates, they make sure this man is, you know, y'all have conversations, y'all try to figure out what future is. You actually get them. That man may not have a job, like you said, when you met him. But you can wait long enough to let that man get a job and show you why submission should be a part of this conversation. At some point, they don't down the road. And if you can't show me, if you can't, for some reason, gra- I can't grab that I can submit to you, I'm always have to go. Because See, that's, that's, that's the that's problem right there. 
the, the closest oh, thing oh, to the most high is a man with love and a good spirit in his heart. For. You what what you're looking for is what's something you'll never find. What's in front Wait of you. Wait a minute. The man can only show you what he can offer. Let's get that correct. The only the only man the man can only show you what he can offer. Now if you expect more than what he can show you, that's your problem. Not mm. mine. Second off, second off, if that man can't show you that you can submit to him, why am I submitting? Why would I trust you with my bills, my kids, my life, my sanity, any of that? If See, you can't the thing. Thing, that, that, that. I need to stop taking dating and, and, and mixing that up with stuff that should be taken into consideration after you've been in a, in a committed relationship. Because yeah, when you're cause dating, that's it's all dating. fun and games. This yeah. like every when you're dating, you're dating. That's what it is. Now, dating no. after you done cut off everybody and everything, and you in this committed relationship, that's so when you start thinking about. But first of that, all, that first stuff of all, right. I, like, I, like, I, like, I like what you said. But the man is not going to show anything of the wolf. The woman is not of value. If she doesn't value herself, so that's I'm gonna value. You. That's why I'm getting to the mm -hmm. value, right? Even even even, value. even, 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 even in the dating thing, when we're looking you at, you gotta find a woman of value. When we're looking at a woman, we're looking at already. That's what we saw up just like a woman is sizing up but a man. you know what the problem with, you so, sit in that unvalued space and continue to play it and not leave it alone so therefore it don't make no sense to say you got to look for somebody who that man values no because that man that man cannot value I just that feel woman like, and still in her face i i, I kind of missed that say that again that man can find that unvalued woman like say he looking you supposed to look for a woman he value yes i agree but if he is in front of a woman he don't value, he'll still play in that woman's face. He'll still he play them games. That, he'll still that's, so. That's what I'm saying. He's already when when a man sees a woman, and I told you, he chooses what he likes. When he sees that, the next thing he's thinking is already in the chest. Why are you playing checkers? His mind is already saying, okay, let me see if this is her. If it's this, if it's this that vessel or not that I can trust everything and lay down my armor when I come to at night. Because at the same damn time, if you can't show me that, I'm not finna present that. A man is not gonna yes. present that. Now we speaking on day these these times right now as it is. Now back in the times, a reason why a man was able to dis display that because the woman understood. The woman understood her boundaries, her roles, her agreements in the relationship with being in a covenant with a man. The problem now is women have lost their role given more power and lost the role and lost the identity and the relationship. A man is still going to be a man no matter what. No I matter, think we no matter just piece. have this trust issue and we just yep. want to see what you're going to do before Boom. we start submitting, which is, I understand that's kind of the wrong way to go about it because okay. it's steps before you so let me let, So let me ask you this. Thing. You think a man won't have trust issues with you automatically seeing you and you already, are, and this is a woman already having maybe kids, one or two? And he's trying to date you to get to know you. Ain't nobody asking you to trust. Ain't nobody asking nobody to trust from the get go. See, what we see, saying see, is, see what it gets it, confusing for me because it's we, all real. We're it's, talking about dating and things that go with committed relationship. Like this is after I keep so like the only way we at this point is after you is after we feel like I see you you see value in me and I see value you. in you. Now we at this point. We don't date the man. Now we at this point in relationship point, and now we need to be. I should have been. You should have been seen possibly when we decide to be committed committed to each other. You should have seen somewhere before that that I was going to submit to you. Thank you. Other than that, you shouldn't have been messing with me if you seen that I was going to necessarily. Some you shouldn't have cut off everybody else if you saw that before we started. Before we said we was going to be in a committed relationship. Y'all lost me with what y'all talking about. Like, see, y'all not talking about the same thing. Because you keep because the because we want to talk about some submitting to someone but i'm not gonna submit to you if we're just dating you get what i'm saying like I, i'm 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 in a committed relationship when i'm in a committed relationship i'm not dating so that's when you get this submission that we're talking about in this committed relationship you never brought a submission but let me let me chime in on that team. oh okay let me chime in on that submission is 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 offered in a in a gift of choosing when a man choosing you he's already being submitted towards you Okay, now don't misunderstand that. Second, a, it takes a woman longer right now in this day and time and period for a woman to submit to a man. It's longer, twice as longer, maybe five times as long. But men are really not. Listen, listen to us like that anymore. It's because all this stuff going on. 
Yeah, of course. Because now he has more obstacles and more other shit to worry about in, 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 in the midst of talking to you. I want everybody listening to please like and subscribe below. Let me ask you a question. Let me let me ask you ladies a question. And comment. You on you I on mean, your date, comment. you've been a few dates for a while, and you got a you got a nice you got a, you got a nice guy with you, with you on the date. Now let me ask, because I'm asking, I'm gonna ask the chat this question, and it's referring to all women listening to chat, listening here, tomorrow, the future, whatever. Would you do you think that the man that you are dating should protect you if something was to pop off in the midst of a restaurant that you are at? Let me rephrase this question for you so you can have I mean, a yeah, you should, if, if something was to happen, gunpoint, robbery, whatever. We should protect each other. We out. Each other like, what the fuck? Thank you. That's number one. I don't care if I, I don't care if you ain't. We if we if we out together, we protecting each other. Like what the fuck? Let's put a let's put a time on this. Let's put a, a, a whole time because that'll help you get an answer. If you have if you are dating to marry, because it's a big difference. Mm -hmm. if, you're dating, if you are dating to marry, yes. Oh hell yeah. You sleeping in my bed, you fucking me every night, you doing all kinds of we doing <laughs> six the clock. Oh yes, you gonna be protecting me when we out down that street. You got life fucked up if you ain't. So if you are just dating. And y'all just, you know, yeah, we supposed to take each other. I'm not going to go too far to go to jail, you know, unless you, you got a gun to your head and we got some protection to do. But otherwise, it's, it's a limit on protection when you just dating and y'all just met. But if you are dating to marry. Committed. Oh, committed. Because some of y'all don't even get That's understood. That's understood. Well, well, we didn't say marriage. We didn't say dating to marry because most women don't date to marry. But that's you're right. gonna get the wrong answer. You gotta put a time on what yeah, you so, talking yeah, about. Because you see, that's what I keep saying. You can't generalize it into just dating because I'm, I'm some trying, stuff I'm that trying happens. To, I'm still trying to get you women to understand what y'all forgot. See, a man so is still a man is still gonna be a man. Even if I'm dating oh, you I'm, and I don't know you, I'm gonna protect you because I chose you. I'm looking at what I wanted to be with already, for one. Listen. A man is very more verbal than a woman is in any relationship, period. A man is going to tell you what he wants, and if he doesn't want it, if he doesn't want marriage or a relationship. Women, you have to figure that shit out. And y'all ways are unknown to fucking man. It's in the Bible. Now, it's in the Bible. we got that nipped in the bud. Now, when now let's bring it to marriage. Dating on the marriage, um, and this is a, 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 a committed to... You have to be like that from the jump. A man is... If, you can't sit here and tell a man, listen, listen to me. You can't sit here and tell him that's why I brought it to that that area now. You can't tell a man that you're dating to marry when he already might see you with multiple children or different babies. What is the point of being with You ain't gonna tell every man that though. You but a man still gonna that's something that's got hold on, you're not gonna take that a man needs to know that off the gate. If you being serious about your shit, a man needs to have to get. That's not something a man should figure out. That's already gonna Look, play. I, I, I need, I need that 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 just because dating, because some people when they're dating, I'm really just dating. Like I could be dating two people at once. Like that don't mean you we're never committed know. to each that's, other that's, or that I want to marry that's you why, just that's because the, I'm dating. That's why that's the most dating scared of the most time. I'm fun. Get out the house like I'm dating you. We getting to know each other. Like it ain't that serious all the time. Whatever. Like you don't got to know that I'm out here looking for somebody to marry. You ain't the person that I want to marry. I just want to date. You. Like that's all I'm saying. That's, that's why I keep feeling like we get stuff. But you, 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 that's the point. That's the problem. I mean, lady. I, I, you know, not, this that is that I want to marry, yeah, but that's but he's not. It. I'm not gonna be submissive to every dude I meet. That's, that's what I'm telling problem. you. Every dude I meet, you're not gonna be. So I'm not gonna be submissive to every dude I meet. So no, you right. If I'm just dating and I don't feel like you're the one I need to be submissive to, then it's, it's not for fun. You can protect yourself and your body. The way that you are, the person you want to marry is not you for fun. to do with everybody that you mm. date. Like some people, you gonna be and be like, okay, this is somebody I can just have fun with, and men do that all the time but you know we hoes when we do it and that's they what i'm saying it. like you're not finna, i'm not gonna be submissive to every dude i date because every man don't submissive. deserve that no 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 every you man know, don't no, 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 you no. Date, uh, and you simply dating and you got more like hell no i'm gonna be submissive to the one that 
I'm cutting everybody off for So after I done found this one that I feel like I'm cutting everybody out, that's the one that's the submissive one. And I understand it. You understand it. I'm like, you want me to meet every door that I meet? No, no. You finna get. No. I'm finna cook for you. No, no, no. But she ain't happy. You ain't strong making with compassion is what type of woman you are right in there. See, it's like you're trying to hold your, your ace card in your hand instead of showing the motherfucker what you're really about and going all out. And see, going all listen, out, listen, no, that's, that's another reason why me. that's another reason why y'all get this short end of the fucking hands. I never told you that I was taught if I never told you that this dating was gonna go any further than this, and all we doing is what we're doing all the time, and that's what it is. Ain't nobody like you can tell when I'm dating with you. I got them, I'm not with you. Because now it's like you want me to be submissive to every dude I date, and that ain't me. No, I'm gonna be submissive no. to the one that no, I feel that I can build saying, with. Like, like, you must be a chip on me because I'm trying saying, to tell you, you're gonna date different people, and all of them gonna treat you differently. And the one that you feel like treating you right, that's the one that you feel, oh, you're gonna get. And let, let me tell you something because. Okay, that means in order for you to be able to weave and choose, like you, okay, this guy I might take serious. This is the guy that I might just date, or we might see. I don't know. We kind of vibe one time. Women are always balancing balancing multiple possibilities. And possibilities. men are too. No. Y'all got multiple. No. I got. No. Oh, cool. yeah, listen, 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 that's not. Got that's not the, No, that's not the first. Got got no. That match is on the bathroom. <laughs> That happens on the back end. Trying to but, tell you. But for one, women control access to sex. Men don't. Uh, so let's kill that. Y'all it, still get it. We get it because, listen, we get it because how hard we have to fucking go just to get it. Why we get it? Y'all still get it, man. Please like and subscribe and put your comment down low because OG done started some shit. Oh crap! Please, I want everybody that I, when you hit, please comment below. Talk to us. Let me make OG feel a little bit better though. True story. I got a quote unquote. We gonna call him a almost friend because he ain't. I can't call him a true friend because he did just what Bree said. She would do at the beginning. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 but now we can still know each other five years later. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't depend on them. I can't. No. No. Exactly. Exactly. And that's what I was going to say. Listen, listen, ladies. Listen, ladies. Bottom line: What I want to get the coach. Like, it's going to be reciprocated equally. When you have a man that's filling your spirit, that's digging you, right. you're going to know. You're going to know. You're going to be able to go all out, and just like he will too. What I'm saying is. Women control access to sex. What I was saying in my example was, if oh, if a guy that's coming at you, <laughs> his all, oh, he's bringing his A game, he's bringing his ace. You have bring to bring. Ace. You can't be right here holding back. You can't be capping. Or what happens? Oh, the same thing. Oh, you, the same thing. The type of relationship you have with this guy, right? But once again, that equals back what me and Bree was saying. It takes some time to get there, though. It, it takes does. Some time. It, it really it does. does. It does. But certain. But why has a way of putting certain people in your life with certain energy that you know? Okay. Yeah, and that's and, and if that's that energy and, and that, that's what and, you want, then that, that's who you cut everybody off for and be exactly. submissive to. Exactly. That's what that's what you do. Like if I'm out here dating, I'm out here. Dating and you, I'm doing listen, me. You don't play right. the field. You focus on that and say, okay. To be single and have some fun. Because I'm not That's finna buy that. Let me tell you, Judge done told the this thing I ever had. And listen, listen, women shouldn't even be ripping one out of this and running. Y'all preserving and putting life on top of that. We are built Look for that. here, and I'm gonna stick to this, and I'm gonna say it again. If y'all will stop acting how y'all act, then maybe we'll stop acting how we act. And I'm gonna leave it at that. Mm. Um, how do we act? Oh, Messy you with your sperm. You think just oh. because you the man and, the, and and God created you to be the strong the strong man that you are, that you can do what the fuck you want to do. Y'all want to say run over all the women all that you want to do, and it's gonna be all right at the end of the day because you a man. That's all it is. Point blank. Period. Talk so if y'all stop like being so messy and so okay for y'all to have high body count, is, is but the women, criminal we, thinking of you, women. We will I, I feel like women, because first of all, everything will always lead back to the man. Y'all want to say everything exactly. That's why we're running. Y'all running the wrong way. The responsibility is always the man. Responsibility always the man. Right is your new topic, please. 
Boom, boom, I got him riled up some more, y'all. The truth is, we always gonna be held accountable and responsible. Responsible. Even when you go overseas, you're dating that man. They're looking at that man first before they're looking at you. Especially how you carry yourself. The man takes all the responsibility and all the hits in the relationship. Well, None of the like man. Man, women. Now, like I'm man, sorry that, me, that you ladies or any ladies that we're talking to or this is hurting right now that's come in contact with men that are not men because you got some little boys out here. But when you're dealing with a real man and a real guy and a stand-up guy, you know it. And he ain't afraid to take he ain't afraid to take his charge to take his L because he believe in what he's saying. He's gonna stand on it, he's gonna die for it. Because he know one day I gotta die for you right now in a minute. I don't even know you, but see, okay, it's like a woman getting beat in the parking lot. It's gonna be some niggas in a minute that see that shit. Hey bro, stop that. Women, men are natural protectors of women. We're not out to hurt, we're not out to pillage, we're not out to gain, we're not out to steal. We are out looking for the one that's gonna, that we can trust, that we can lay down our armor and our shield for. That's what we doing. Please, everybody, comment below. Testa, what's your news topic? Well, speaking of men, we have two okay. nice men in the news this week. Snoop Dogg and Master, Master P. My dog. So, Mr. Snoop Dogg and Master P sue Walmart for post, uh, I mean, and post for trying to sabotage their cereal. Um, I don't know if y'all seen a while back where they had this issue of Walmart not putting their cereal out on shelves in certain spots so it can be seen when people are shopping. So they went in the store and started putting some of this stuff forward. Um, coming up to this, why, uh, because the reason why they are suing, uh, suing Walmart and food manufacturer post consumer brands, arguing that both co companies intentionally left their cereal products off shelves and hid it in stock rooms in an attempt to sabotage their brand. In a 34-page lawsuit. Mm. So, four. what? Once again, we asking the white man for some shit. Mm-hmm. Once um, again, you, um, you can put your stuff uh, on the white man's shelf. Dog and Master and P got enough money for their own motherfucking store. They do, but now they finna, they finna come up even more because exactly. once you try to allow the white man to be you equal tried to, you, to be peaceful and you, you try to get in in a way where well, it's respectable, yep. so it's right no ahead. problems. I don't need you coming at me like that. I want you to, I want you to, I, I, I was trying to come to the big manufacturers first, but I guarantee you these guys will figure it out. These guys are super entrepreneurs, guys I look up to, very business savvy, and they will definitely figure it out. But I know what, the, what that was really about. Just like you know what's going on with all these food major recalls right now. So this ain't on Snoop, this ain't on Master P. This is on the major brands, period, because they're putting out full poison. So when they first started to try to put these on shelves, the actual, uh, actually post-consumer brands tried to get um, support for one of the cereals, Snoop cereals, of, um, which was the Snoop cereal. The food manufacturer attempted to outright buy the brand, but you know, the rappers declined that offer. Why would I let you buy my brand when I can generate income for the rest of my life off that brand? I, still being you, independent. They just using yeah, it as a distribution. And most of all, these people are made for um, uh, inspiring and creating opportunities for not minority uh, minority owned products and brands. So they have every right to hold on to that. Close dear to their heart. I hope they find a store that allows them to continue what they're doing um, and can trust them. I hope they build uh, their own fucking store. Look here, with the shit that's in this cereal, these cereal nowadays. I understand why they're trying to hold it back because that might have been some way better shit that way better healthy. That's probably why they tried to buy up all of them and then taint the motherfucker and then mm -hmm. taint the man. See, it's a lot of shit going on right now. It's a lot of shit going on right now. So people watch your ass, watch your yeah, food. That's why watch you gotta be buying. careful. You be offering your shit too, too. You right. If you ask that's me, they ain't suing for enough. They only mm -hmm. suing for like a little bit over fifty thousand um, dollars. Rappers are seeking a jury trial. Damages exceeding fifty thousand dollars. So. I would want more, truthfully. I mean, that's, you don't know how long they've been you know hiding. We like, don't how know how to retire, do we? Like, oh my gosh, both of them should be, they like open their age. They should just be chilling. Like, oh my gosh. But I feel them. Get that bag as long as you can. And keep making ways for black folks. It's going to pay. Oh. Thank you very much. Well, make your own damn store and give some of black folks some jobs. How about that? that but you know what? I'm, that ain't my business. That ain't my business. Walmart. We need to know Walmart. We're speaking of celebrities. Oh my gosh. 
I'm just Uh-oh. playing y'all. Ain't nothing on my guys. I was just gonna touch on <laughs> how these dumbass celebrities, they don't realize that the beef that they have in the spotlight, that it looks so bad on us, especially as a as a black community. It just looks yeah, terrible. Got one white person online going through some beef stuff. But what see what I'm saying? That's what I was saying. These white people, they don't be doing that, all the stuff that we're doing. And like we are we get paid to be messy on TV. We get we be running up these reality shows, being messy, having beef, and then like the back and forth with these rap beefs and how nasty they get with each other. That's why they don't respect us. Look at how we drag each other through the mud. Because we allow it, that's what it's gonna continue to be. We allow exactly. it. Exactly. Just like rapper, I mean singers who are sexualizing their music, they allow themselves to go on that stage, continue. If they all boycott and said, I'm never gonna dance like this again with my clothes halfway off, and they have to accept that, and then, you know, stuff will change. But this is what we allow. Even Jason Lee, me. I love me some Jason Lee. It's but me, even you know Jason they Lee got? said that's how he started off. They just go make and another yeah. ice spice and give her thirty thousand. She don't know no better because she thinks she's twerking for the gram. I'm trying to tell you, and, th- that, and that is, you see the messy stuff. Everything messy gets attention, no matter what it is. Yeah, he said he had to be messy first, and then he had to dumb himself down to who he is now because that was the only way he was able to get those supporters, those views, those likes, and he had to be digging in everybody's business, almost like a Wendy Williams. He understood. I'm trying what he to tell had you. To- if we if we cook. just if we just really start standing behind our own and looking at what we do have, everything we do have in this world and put together, man, it couldn't nobody couldn't could nothing stand that. That's a whole economy in itself. It's just when we gonna realize that we can do it ourselves. When we gonna realize that? When we, all, as as all the money these millionaires and contacts they come into contact with, you think I wouldn't have had its own distribution center by now? You think I would have made me? I would have brought all that land they buying up. You think I would have used that and built that a whole? Let me build a whole. Let me build a whole separate warehouse. I can make my own distribution if I build my own separate warehouse. They found out. And just ship my shit off to the stores if they don't want it. They don't want to set the ship. Okay, well they won't get a cut for nothing. I'll go. I'll go. Might take my service to the next. Somebody else gonna take your services. Believe it. Speaking of that, I want to give, if you don't mind, um, give someone props, Miss Angela Lee. She actually did do what we are speaking of. She actually went and got her real estate license, got a building, two buildings, if I'm not mistaken, and a couple mm-hmm. of homes. And she rented them out to all um, ex-convicts and also black people. She actually is working with the community after she's got her license. Got and that does license. deserve a maximum blackness. Congratulations. You should have said that earlier, girl. It definitely does. Shout I'm out, sorry. Girl. You gotta help. See, you can't. You gotta do more than just give back to the community because y'all be y'all, these celebrities give their money to to corporations that are still run by uh, uh black, white people, and they're not gonna do what they want, do what they supposed to do with the money anyway. Get out there and do that shit yourself. Bump all that with everything that's mm-hmm. happening right now with the buying apartments. Fuck that. Are we gonna stand together? Because mm-hmm. there's too much shit going on right now for us to be. That's a whole nother level that they ain't ready for, it's too OG. Much shit. It's too much shit going on for The us black to community, be. we ain't ready for that. Worried about this, cars, Hellcats, Cubans, like stupid shit, shit that ain't even That don't be matter. Here. That ain't gonna be here tomorrow if this shit go down like the wrong way, bro. Like you won't be able to enjoy none of that shit that you claim that you hold so damn love. Shout out to KRS1. Love's gonna get you because that song that changed my life when I was younger and he start off by telling you that word love is very, very serious. Be careful what you love. Be careful what be careful what you cherish that 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 that's not attachable to this world. That could be diminished and just just destroyed in a few seconds. You know what I'm saying? And be careful if it's the wrong thing that you cherish that could be gone like that because your whole world could be taken. And you just but that's neither here neither there. Um I just wanna say, man, just everybody rocking out with us, man, just keep fucking with us. Um, and I do want to put that on the back of people's minds, man, because too much shit is going on in the news, too much shit is going on in the media, and I just want people to really just think, man, um, we got to be together with this shit. Because, together. And I mean everybody, and I ain't talking about just black whoever who feel comfortable being together because this shit is going down right now. Mm-hmm. Shit is going down right now, and I'm talking about a super accelerating rate to the point where in the next few weeks, boy, like, man, look here. Look here. So man, we just we need to get together. Fuck a march. We just need to sit. We need to chill and, and as a people, as a as a yeah, civilization, as a society, to figure out what we're gonna do next. You no, know, what is our next move? Let's separate ourselves from what's going on. Cause we take no condolences in this shit. 
we don't have want faith in our younger generation. Too. Yeah. Because I do like have... this younger generation. They are mm-hmm. very fierce. They really is. They've done more. You know, we we come from the nineties, all you know, mid eighties to nineties. Cool. I had but hope. These, these but I seen some babies, other day, and it, it made me lose all hope. Some Once kids are just just you know who they are. But these these new kids, these two thousand babies on up, more so two thousand and ten. They're they not accepting all that shit we did. Right. They're not doing all that stuff. But yet alone, they've actually went out there and found out what protest is at their age. We 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 didn't. We were still ending slavery. We were still, you know, trying to kubaya with each other's racial back background. So, but they are actually already in the racial background. They are already connected. You're already going to school with each other. They're already drinking out each other's water fountains. They're already, you know, being able mm-hmm. to do things as one to where we, when we do have these big old blow-ups in, in the United States, they are together. They won't have to worry about telling them to go out there and be together and, and protest as blacks, whites, whatever you, Hispanics, they're there. You know, if they're gonna, if they're for us, they're gonna be there. So, I actually think this younger generation is going to make a bigger change than we could have ever had because we were still learning what America was about. Mm-hmm. They're actually able to live in America and know I what it's about. That. That's a good opinion. Oh no, I'm praying, praying for better. So, I can see that. So but you know, just as many as there are good, there's just as many as bad. So we just can all we can do is have hope and hold on and try to do our best to you know do continue doing what we can do for our community, okay, and and the world because we all are is we all we all are better together. But if we all gonna be divided around this motherfucker, we black people need to stay strong. But you know what? That's another conversation for another day. We're about to head out the door. Thank you guys for listening to us. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below. Comment. We want to know what you guys think. And look out for our clips on TikTok. You guys seem to start. You guys are starting to like those a little more lately. And do my co-hosts have anything they want to say today? Love topics today. Good job. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. Y'all know how we getting down, man. Love, peace, and chicken grease and everything in between with the meat. You know what I'm saying? This is how we doing it. This is how we rolling. Maximum Gladness, another episode down the banks. Y'all fuck with us. Y'all drop the comments. Y'all know what it is. Bow, bow. I'm out. You know what I'm saying? And we out. Boom.